School, school, schools. They're giving your kids the grades, but today we're giving them the grades. Let's check out which school districts are the top in Austin. Hi, I'm Troy. If you're new to the channel, I talk about real estate in Austin, Texas. So if you want to stay up to date on either of those topics, subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you can be updated when new videos hit. I'm also a real estate agent in Austin, so if you have questions about buying or selling here in Austin, reach out and we'd be happy to help. So niche.com, or is it niche.com? Niche.com? I've read about this. You have it. Comes up with their ratings for schools every year. And today we want to take a look at the top school districts in the Austin area. Company number nine is the Liberty Hill School District. Let's take a look at the breakdown of their grades. Niche.com gives them an A- overall. For academics, we got an A. Teachers, an A-. Clubs and activities, a B+. Sports, an A. Resources and facilities, a B. Diversity, a B. College prep, A-. Administration, B+. And food, A-. Now this school district is about an hour north northwest of central Austin and unsurprisingly it covers Liberty Hill but it also covers a little bit of northern Leander and a little bit of western Georgetown. Because of the significant growth Austin has been seen everywhere the school district is a fast growing one because as Austin continues to grow more and more people are moving away from the heart of Austin for affordability reasons and to have access to bigger pieces of land and property. Of the homes currently available on the market, you see homes starting at about $275,000 and going all the way up to about $5 million. Although that specific home is a 27 acre property, which is not typical of the area. The majority of the homes in the Liberty Hill School District are gonna be in the 450 to about $800,000 price range. Number eight on the list is the Pflugerville School District. Their overall grade is an A minus, academics B plus, teachers A minus, clubs and activities A minus, sports A, resources B minus, diversity A plus, college prep A, administration B, and food is a C. They actually made Nisha's list as the most diverse school district in the Austin area and number 158 in the entire nation. The school district is located about 30 miles north northeast of central Austin. And unsurprisingly, again, it covers the majority of Pflugerville, as well as parts of North Austin and a little bit of Round Rock. The homes currently listed for sale in Pflugerville start at $270,000 and go all the way up to $1.35 million. But the majority of homes are about $400,000 to $575,000. Number seven on our list is Austin ISD. Nisha's grades for Austin are overall A, academics A-, teachers A, clubs and activities B+, sports B, resources and facilities B minus, diversity A, college prep A plus, administration B plus, and food C minus. What's going on with the food there? This is your lunch. Fortunately, the school district covers most of Austin, so hopefully the students can just pop outside for lunch and go to a good restaurant. It's the largest school district by student size in schools. Because of this, it has a greater range of school ratings within the district than most of the other ones that are on this list. Which is why it's important when you're shopping for a home to understand which schools service that neighborhood. Even if you don't have any kids now or aren't planning on having any in the future, knowing which schools are in your neighborhood is still an important factor when looking for real estate because it can greatly impact the resale value of your home down the road. With Austin, because it's so diverse, it's no surprise that the housing is just as diverse. On the low end, some condos are a little over $200,000, and on the high end, a few homes are over $10 million. But the majority of homes are going to be around half a million to $1.1 million in the school district. Number six on the list is the NYOS school district, or the Not Your Ordinary School Charter School. Nisha's ratings for the district are an overall A, academics A-, teachers A, clubs and activities C+, sports C-, resources C, diversity A, college prep A, administration B+, and food C+. Gotta get these kids some better food. NYOS stands for Not Your Ordinary School and is actually a free public charter school that was founded in 1998. Their focus is more on academics and with only a thousand kids in kindergarten through 12th grade, it's not that surprising that things like resources and sports aren't as highly rated as some of the other districts on this list. In fact, it kind of doesn't belong in the list at all simply because it doesn't matter where you live, you can still go to the school. So while you can live in any of the other school districts and still go here, you do have to apply and there's a lottery system to see which people get to attend. Number five on the list is the Round Rock School District. 
Nisha's grades for the school district are an overall A, academics A, teachers B+, clubs and activities A, sports B+, resources and facilities B, diversity A, college prep A+, administration B+, and food B-. The Round Rock School District is actually the first district on our list to crack the top 500 nationally, coming in at 466 out of more than 10,000 school districts in the nation. The Round Rock School District is about 30 minutes north of Central Austin and covers Round Rock, parts of Cedar Park and Pflugerville, and a good chunk of Northern Austin, getting all the way down into Great Hills and actually dividing Great Hills into the Austin and Round Rock School Districts. If you want to learn more about the Great Hills neighborhood, I have a complete video that I did that I can link right here. Homes in the Round Rock School District range from about 270 on the low end to close to 3 million on the high end, but the majority of homes are going to be in the 415 to $600,000 range. The number four school district is the Lake Travis School District. Nisha's grades for Lake Travis are an overall A, academics A+, teachers A, clubs and activities A, sports A+, resources and facilities A, diversity B-, college prep A+, administration A-, and food A+. Maybe we could get some of those cafeteria workers at Lake Travis to go over to Austin and teach them how to cook. Lake Travis is ranked as the best school district in the Austin area for athletes and 344 in the entire nation. Because I love football. Football is fun. The Lake Travis School District is about 30 minutes west of Central Austin. It covers Lakeway, which I have a full video on in case you want to live the resort life in Lakeway. It also covers Bee Caves, Spicewood, and a little bit of Austin as well. The areas of Austin and Spicewood that it covers are actually outside the city limits, which is another reason it's important to talk to your real estate agent when you're looking for a home. Because as we've seen, a number of these cities belong to multiple different districts. And so just wanting to live in a specific city might not get you into the school district that you want to be. Home prices in the school district range from about $400,000 on the low end up to almost $8 million on the high end but the majority of homes are gonna be between 700,000 and 1.5 million. This makes it the second most expensive school district to live in in the Austin area. Number three on our list is the Dripping Springs School District. Nisha's grades here are an overall A+, academics A+, teachers A+, clubs and activities A, sports B+, resources and facilities A, diversity B-, college prep A+, administration A, and food A+. The Dripping Springs School District is about 35 minutes southwest of Austin. It covers Dripping Springs, Driftwood, and some communities with an Austin address, but they're outside the city limits. It's one of the fastest growing school districts in Austin because of the larger home sites and relatively affordable home prices compared to places a little bit closer in to the city. Currently on the market, you have homes ranging from 400,000 on the low end to 5.65 million on the high end but the majority of homes can be found in between 700,000 and 1.3 million. Number two on our list is the Leander School District. Nisha's grades for Leander are overall A+, academics A, teachers A+, clubs and activities A, sports A, resources and facilities B+, diversity A-, college prep A+, administration A+, and food B-. Not only is it rated as the second best school district in Austin, but it's rated nationally in a few categories as well. It comes in at number 224 for best school districts in the nation, 369 for school districts with the best teachers, and 559 with school districts that are best for athletes. This is out of almost 11,000 school districts nationwide. The Leander School District covers one of the largest geographical areas, covering not only Leander, but Jonestown, Cedar Park, part of Northwest Austin, and a little bit of Round Rock. Covering such a large geographic footprint, it's not that surprising that Leander has the largest spread in home prices for a school district. On the low end, homes can start at around 300,000, but on the upper end, we actually have the most expensive public listing currently in Austin at $35 million. The majority of homes in the school district, however, are somewhere between 450 dollars and $750,000. And that brings us to the number one school district on our list. Drum roll, please. <laughs> No surprise to anyone, it's the Eanes School District. Nisha's grades for Eanes are overall A+, academics A+, teachers A+, clubs and activities A, sports A, resources and facilities A+, diversity B-, college prep A+, administration A+, and food A+. That's pretty good. Yeah. Pretty good. 
Okay, what is it with all the school districts south of the river getting A pluses in food? Is the food really that much better in South Austin? Let me know in the comments. The Ean School District is not only the best school district here in Austin, but it's rated number one in the entire state of Texas and number 10 in the entire nation. Not surprisingly, it also has the fifth best teachers in the state of Texas and is rated 178th for best teachers in the nation. Because if you're gonna be a top school, you're likely gonna have great teachers. The Ean School District covers Westlake Hills, Rollingwood, and a big section of homes that have Austin addresses but are outside the city limits. Having one of the best school districts in the nation, along with its close proximity to Central Austin, and it's not surprising that Ean School District also comes in number one and most expensive school district to live in. While there'll usually be a couple of condos at around 800,000, single family homes start at about 1.2 million, with the most expensive listing in the school district currently at $16.75 million. The majority of homes in the school district are gonna be in the 1.5 to $3.8 million range. So those are Nisha's ratings for Austin's best school districts. Do you agree or disagree? And was the grading fair or did they grade in a curve? I'd love to know your thoughts in the comments. If you found this video useful, I'd love for you to hit that subscribe button to stay updated on the other videos I put out about Austin and Austin real estate.